Hello and welcome to my channel, where I share with you the best tips and tricks on how to make money in the stock market. From the captivating shores of London to the bustling markets of Frankfurt, join us as we embark on a high-stakes adventure where risk meets reward and every decision holds the key to your financial triumph. Ready to dive in? Then let's set sail on this exhilarating quest to intelligently invest $1,000 in European shares today. Europe is a diverse and dynamic region with many opportunities for investors who are looking for growth, income, or value. However, investing in Europe can also be challenging, as there are many factors to consider, such as currency fluctuations, political risks, economic cycles, and different regulations. That's why you need to do your homework and research before you invest in any European stock. But don't worry, I'm here to help you. I have done the hard work for you and selected 10 of the best European stocks to buy right now, based on their fundamentals, performance, and potential. These are the stocks that I personally own or plan to buy soon, and I believe they will give you a great return on your investment. The first stock on my list is Nestle, the world's largest food and beverage company based in Switzerland. Nestle is a global leader in many categories, such as coffee, bottled water, infant nutrition, pet food, and chocolate. Nestle has a strong and diversified portfolio of brands, such as Nespresso, Nescafe, KitKat, Maggie, Purina, and many more. Nestle also has a presence in over 190 countries, serving more than 1 billion consumers every day. Nestle is a great stock to own for several reasons. First, Nestle is a dividend aristocrat, meaning it has increased its dividend every year for at least 25 years. Second, Nestle is a defensive stock, meaning it can perform well even in times of economic downturns as people still need to eat and drink. Third, Nestle is a growth stock, meaning it can generate higher revenues and profits over time by expanding into new markets, launching new products, and acquiring new businesses. For example, Nestle recently acquired Freshly, a U.S.-based meal delivery service, and Amune Therapeutics, a biopharmaceutical company that develops treatments for food allergies. I think Nestle is a solid and reliable company that can provide me with steady income and capital appreciation. The second stock on my list is Unilever, another giant in the consumer goods sector, based in the Netherlands and the UK. Unilever is similar to Nestle in that it has a wide range of products and brands, such as Dove, Axe, Lipton, Ben & Jerry's, Knorr, and many more. Unilever also has a global footprint, with more than 60% of its sales coming from emerging markets, such as China, India, Brazil, and Indonesia. Unilever is another great stock to own for several reasons. First, Unilever is also a dividend aristocrat, having raised its dividend every year since 1995. Second, Unilever is also a defensive stock, as its products are essential and affordable for most consumers. Third, Unilever is also a growth stock, as it can benefit from the rising middle class and urbanization in the developing world, as well as the increasing demand for sustainable and healthy products. For example, Unilever has committed to achieving net zero emissions by 2039 and to having its environmental impact by 2030. I think Unilever is a resilient and innovative company that can adapt to changing consumer preferences and market conditions. The third stock on my list is Munich Re, the world's largest reinsurance company based in Germany. Reinsurance is a type of insurance that insurance companies buy to protect themselves from large losses. For example, if an insurance company sells a lot of policies that cover natural disasters such as hurricanes, earthquakes, or floods, it may buy reinsurance from Munich Re to reduce its risk and liability. Munich Re also has a primary insurance business called Ergo, which offers various types of insurance products, such as life, health, property, and casualty. Munich Re is a great stock to own for several reasons. First, Munich Re is also a dividend aristocrat, having increased its dividend every year since 1970. Second, Munich Re is a stable and profitable stock, as it has a strong balance sheet, a diversified portfolio, and a conservative underwriting policy. Third, Munich Re is a growth stock as it can capitalize on the growing demand for reinsurance, especially in the emerging markets, where insurance penetration is low. Munich Re also invests in new technologies and innovations, such as digitalization, artificial intelligence, and renewable energy. The fourth stock on my list is Air Liquid, the world's leader in industrial gases based in France. Air Liquid produces and supplies gases such as oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide for various industries such as healthcare, electronics, chemicals, and energy. Air Liquid also offers related services such as engineering, equipment, and maintenance. 
Air Liquid is a great stock to own for several reasons. First, Air Liquid is also a dividend aristocrat, having increased its dividend every year since 1988. Second, Air Liquid is a resilient and growing stock, as it has a loyal and diversified customer base, a long term contract model, and a global presence. Third, Air Liquid is a future oriented stock, as it can benefit from the increasing demand for clean and renewable energy, such as hydrogen and biogas. Air Liquid also invests in research and development, and in strategic acquisitions, to strengthen its competitive edge and expand its market share. The fifth stock on my list is Halma a leading provider of safety, health, and environmental solutions based in the UK. Halma operates in four segments, process safety, infrastructure safety, environmental and analysis, and medical. Halma offers products and services that protect people and assets, improve quality of life, and enhance the environment. Some examples of Halma's products are fire and gas detectors, elevator safety systems, water quality monitors, and ophthalmic instruments. Halma is a great stock to own for several reasons. First, Halma is also a dividend aristocrat, having increased its dividend every year since 1979. Second, Halma is a high-growth and high-margin stock, as it has a strong track record of organic and acquisitive growth, a diversified and niche portfolio, and a scalable and efficient business model. Third, Halma is a sustainable and socially responsible stock, as it aligns with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and contributes to the well-being of society and the planet. The sixth stock on my list is ASML, the world's leading supplier of lithography systems for the semiconductor industry, based in the Netherlands. Lithography is a process that uses light to print tiny patterns on silicon wafers, which are then used to make chips for various devices, such as computers, smartphones, and cars. ASML has a dominant position in the market, with over 80% market share, and is the only company that can produce the most advanced and efficient lithography machines called Extreme Ultraviolet EUV Lithography. ASML is a great stock to own for several reasons. First, ASML is a high-growth and high-margin stock, as it benefits from the increasing demand for chips, especially for applications such as artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and 5G. ASML has a strong and loyal customer base, which includes the top chip makers in the world, such as Intel, Samsung, and TSMC. ASML also has a long-term and recurring revenue stream, as it sells not only the machines, but also the service and maintenance contracts and the consumables, such as lenses and light sources. Second, ASML is an innovative and competitive stock as it invests heavily in research and development and in strategic partnerships to maintain its technological edge and market leadership. ASML also has a strong patent portfolio and a high barrier to entry, which makes it difficult for potential competitors to enter the market. Third, ASML is a sustainable and responsible stock, as it aims to reduce its environmental impact and to support its social and ethical standards. ASML also pays a dividend, which it has increased every year since 2010. The seventh stock on my list is Spotify, the world's largest music streaming service provider based in Sweden. Spotify offers users access to millions of songs, podcasts, and audiobooks across various genres, moods, and languages. Spotify operates through two segments, premium and ad-supported. The premium segment provides users with unlimited and ad-free streaming, as well as other features such as offline listening, high-quality audio, and personalized recommendations. The ad-supported segment provides users with limited and ad-supported streaming, as well as access to some of the premium features such as playlists and podcasts. Spotify is a great stock to own for several reasons. First, Spotify is a high growth and high potential stock as it benefits from the increasing demand for digital and personalized entertainment, especially among the younger and tech savvy consumers. Spotify has a large and loyal user base with over 489 million monthly active users and over 172 million premium subscribers as of the third quarter of 2023. Spotify also has a global presence with operations in over 180 countries and a diverse and localized content library with over 70 million tracks and over 2.9 million podcasts. Second, Spotify is an innovative and disruptive stock as it invests in new technologies and initiatives to enhance its user experience and differentiation. For example, Spotify has launched new features such as Spotify Hi-Fi, which offers lossless audio quality, Spotify Blend, 
which allows users to create and share playlists with their friends, and Spotify Greenroom, which is a live audio app that competes with Clubhouse. Spotify has also expanded into new markets such as audiobooks, which it offers to its premium subscribers in select countries, and podcast advertising, which it offers through its Spotify audience network. Third, Spotify is a future-oriented and socially responsible stock, as it aims to support the music and podcast industry and to promote diversity and inclusion. Spotify pays royalties to the artists and creators based on the number of streams and the popularity of their content. Spotify also supports emerging and independent artists through its Spotify for Artists platform, which provides them with tools and insights to grow their fan base and revenue. Spotify also supports various social causes, such as racial justice, mental health, and environmental sustainability through its Spotify Social Impact program, which provides funding, awareness, and education to various organizations and initiatives. The eighth stock on my list is Adidas, the world's second-largest sportswear company based in Germany. Adidas designs and sells footwear, apparel, and accessories for various sports and lifestyle activities, such as running, soccer, basketball, golf, and yoga. Adidas has a strong and iconic portfolio of brands such as Adidas, Reebok, and Runtastic. Adidas also has a global presence with operations in over 160 countries and a loyal and passionate customer base, which includes athletes, celebrities, and influencers. Adidas is a great stock to own for several reasons. First, Adidas is a high-growth and high-margin stock, as it benefits from the increasing demand for sportswear and athleisure, especially among the health-conscious and fashion-conscious consumers. Adidas has a strong and innovative product pipeline, which includes new launches such as the Adidas 4D, which is a 3D-printed shoe, the Adidas Ultra Boost, which is a high-performance running shoe, and the Adidas X Ivy Park, which is a collaboration with Beyoncé. Adidas also has a strong and efficient distribution network, which includes online channels, such as its own e-commerce platform and app, and offline channels, such as its own stores and wholesale partners. Second, Adidas is a competitive and adaptive stock, as it invests in new technologies and strategies to enhance its customer experience and differentiation. For example, Adidas has adopted a digital-first approach, which leverages data and analytics to understand and anticipate customer needs and preferences and to offer personalized and customized products and services. Adidas has also adopted a sustainability approach, which aims to reduce its environmental impact and to use more recycled and renewable materials, such as its Parley Ocean Plastic, which is made from plastic waste collected from the oceans. Third, Adidas is a socially responsible and inspiring stock, as it aims to support the sports and culture industry and to promote diversity and inclusion. Adidas sponsors and partners with various sports teams and events, such as the FIFA World Cup, the NBA, and the Olympics. Adidas also supports various social causes, such as gender equality, racial justice, and mental health, through its Adidas Social Impact Program, which provides funding, awareness and education to various organizations and initiatives. The ninth stock on my list is LVMH, the world's largest luxury goods company based in France. LVMH owns and operates a portfolio of over 70 prestigious and renowned brands, such as Louis Vuitton, Dior, Fendi, Givenchy, Bulgari, Moet and Chandon, and Sephora. LVMH operates through five segments, fashion and leather goods, perfumes and cosmetics, watches and jewelry, wines and spirits, and selective retailing. LVMH is a great stock to own for several reasons. First, LVMH is a high-growth and high-margin stock, as it benefits from the increasing demand for luxury goods, especially among the affluent and aspirational consumers. LVMH has a strong and loyal customer base, which includes celebrities, royals, and influencers. LVMH also has a global presence, with operations in over 70 countries, and a diverse and localized product offering, which caters to different tastes and preferences. Second, LVMH is an innovative and competitive stock as it invests in new technologies and initiatives to enhance its customer experience and differentiation. For example, LVMH has launched new products such as the Louis Vuitton smartwatch, which is a wearable device that combines fashion and functionality. The Dior Forever Couture Perfect Cushion, which is a refillable and eco-friendly makeup product, and the Bulgari Serpenti Sedatori, which is a watch that features a snake-inspired design and precious stones, 
LVMH has also expanded into new markets, such as online retailing, which it offers through its own e-commerce platforms, such as 24S and Close19, and through its partnership with Alibaba, which is the largest e-commerce company in China. LVMH has also acquired new businesses, such as Tiffany & Co., which is the world's leading jeweler, and Starboard Cruise Services, which is the world's largest duty-free retailer on cruise ships. Third, LVMH is a sustainable and responsible stock as it aims to reduce its environmental impact and to support its social and ethical standards. LVMH has committed to achieving carbon neutrality by 2030 and to sourcing 100% of its raw materials from responsible and traceable sources by 2025. LVMH also supports various social causes, such as education, culture, and health, through its LVMH Social Impact Program, which provides funding, awareness, and education to various organizations and initiatives. The tenth and final stock on my list is SAP, the world's largest enterprise software company based in Germany. SAP provides software solutions for various business processes, such as accounting, human resources, customer relationship management, supply chain management, and analytics. SAP serves over 440,000 customers in over 180 countries across various industries, such as manufacturing, retail, healthcare, and banking. SAP is a great stock to own for several reasons. First, SAP is a high-growth and high-margin stock as it benefits from the increasing demand for digital transformation, especially among the large and complex organizations. SAP has a strong and sticky customer base, which includes 92% of the Forbes Global 2000 companies and 77% of the world's transaction revenue. SAP also has a long-term and recurring revenue stream, as it sells not only the software licenses, but also the cloud subscriptions and the service and maintenance contracts. Second, SAP is an innovative and competitive stock as it invests in new technologies and initiatives to enhance its customer experience and differentiation. For example, SAP has launched new products such as SAP S Tarhana, which is a cloud-based enterprise resource planning system, SAP Business Technology Platform, which is a platform that enables customers to integrate, extend, and build applications, and SAP Customer Experience, which is a suite of solutions that helps customers to manage their customer journeys. SAP has also expanded into new markets, such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, and blockchain, which it offers through its SAP Leonardo platform. SAP has also acquired new businesses, such as Qualtrics, which is a leader in experience management software, and Signavio, which is a leader in business process intelligence software. Third, SAP is a sustainable and responsible stock as it aims to reduce its environmental impact and to support its social and ethical standards. SAP has committed to achieving net zero emissions by 2025 and to using 100% renewable energy for its data centers and facilities. European shares offer exposure to established multinational corporations, emerging tech startups, and innovative companies driving sustainable growth. It's crucial to understand the market's dynamics and consider the factors that can impact your investment decisions. The foundation of intelligent investing lies in thorough research and due diligence. Before investing your $1,000, take the time to research European companies, their financial health, competitive advantages, and growth potential. Analyze their balance sheets, income statements, and cash flow to gain insights into their performance. Additionally, consider macroeconomic factors such as political stability, regulatory environment, and economic outlook of the countries where these companies operate. This research will help you identify companies with solid fundamentals and robust growth prospects. Diversification is a key principle in investing, and it becomes even more crucial when working with a limited budget. With $1,000, it's important to spread your investment across different European companies to minimize risk. Look for companies from various sectors and countries to create a well-diversified portfolio. Investing in European shares with $1,000 requires a long-term perspective. While it's tempting to seek quick gains, remember that investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Look for companies with strong growth potential and hold on to your investments for the long haul. Patience is key. Even with a smaller initial investment, your $1,000 can grow steadily over time if you choose promising companies and allow them to flourish. Avoid the temptation of frequent buying and selling, as transaction costs can eat into your returns. Another strategy to consider when investing $1,000 in European shares is dividend investing. European companies are known for their generous dividend payments, 
providing investors with a steady income stream. Look for companies with a history of consistent and growing dividends, as this can enhance the overall return on your investment. Reinvesting these dividends can further accelerate the growth of your portfolio, allowing you to compound your returns over time. This approach can be particularly beneficial for investors looking for passive income or aiming to build wealth for the long term. Dollar cost averaging is a strategy that enables you to invest a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, regardless of market conditions. With $1,000, you can employ this strategy by investing a set amount each month in European shares, regardless of whether the market is up or down. This approach helps mitigate the impact of market volatility and allows you to buy more shares when prices are low and fewer shares when prices are high. Over time, this disciplined approach can smooth out the fluctuations in the market and potentially result in favorable average purchase prices. You should always do your own research and consult a professional before making any investment decisions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on investing and financial markets. Remember, with careful planning and smart decision-making, your $1,000 investment in European shares can grow into a substantial portfolio. Happy investing!